Yo, what's good with the guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you to everybody for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. So for today's video, this is going to be a highly requested video by a lot of people and that is how to update your firmware on the Asus ROG Swift PG32 UCDM. Guys, we're bringing you the, what you guys want to see and I really, really hope that you guys enjoy the video. I hope this helps you out. Also, thank you guys so much for the 500 subscribers. It really means a lot. So here's the system over here. I'll show you guys it before we jump into the video. It is a liquid cooled. I'll show you guys the outside of the case. Really like it if it even comes in. And then I'll show you guys the inside. So we got the liquid cooled 4090 and the liquid cooled 14900K. But enough of that. Let's jump into ha actually how to update your firmware on the monitor. Now, as you guys can see, the cable right here, we have a USB B side and we got a USB A side. Now, what you guys are gonna wanna do first is let's come around here and let's actually give you guys an in-depth video on how to properly do this. The USB B side is gonna go into your monitor. The USB A side is gonna go into your motherboard. So make sure you guys have this connected and make sure everything else is connected as well, like you know your display port or your HDMI cable. Now, what you're actually gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to asus.com um, and look up the monitor. Now, what I do is I just type in Asus PG32 UCDM drivers and it's actually the top one right here. Now, one other thing that you wanna do before you install the firmware is you wanna go into the menu down here and if you go all the way to the bottom to system setup, go ahead and click that and then go to the bottom again there's gonna be information. Now, as you guys can see, I have the latest firmware, MCM105. Now, make sure you guys check the firmware after you run the updater to actually see if it took or not. Now, sometimes it's gonna say that it failed when in reality, it actually updated. So if you just keep hitting download, it's just gonna keep saying it's failed because it's already installed if that happens to you. Now, once you get on the screen, go ahead and you wanna go over to BIOS firmware right here. Now, you do wanna click driver utility up here. Uh, it probably will already be selected if you come to this exact link, but let's go to driver utility and then let's go to BIOS firmware. And here it is, here it is right here, MCM105. Go ahead and click download. Now I already have it downloaded down here. And this is what you guys are going to get. Now, once you guys install this, let's show you guys a quick pop-up on what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look something like this, once you run that. Now, it might say that it failed, and these are the steps that you're gonna wanna take if it failed. Disconnect both USB cables and then plug them back in also, you can do a re-download from the firmware and then run it again. That actually worked for me, but it did keep saying that it had failed the install. So it, it, didn't, it didn't update the very first time. It said it failed. I unplugged both cables, plugged them back in, re-downloaded the firmware, and it worked. Then I went back in and I checked the firmware to obviously confirm that it had actually been updated down in the information tab right here. Anyways, guys, that's all you guys need to do. I hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.